I'm David Kenyon and I'm the research historian here at Bletchley Park. Bletchley Park is famous as one of the birthplaces of computing and one of the names that's associated with that in particular is of course Alan Turing. He worked on foundational ideas in computing before the Second World War and then came here to Bletchley Park and made a huge contribution to code breaking, in particular helping with the breaking of the German Enigma codes. One of the ideas that Alan Turing had which is most widely remembered is what's referred to as the Turing test or what he called the imitation game and he hypothesized that in the future computers would become so powerful that it was possible that a computer might not be distinguishable from a human being but actually making a machine impersonate a human at that level is for modern computation not an enormous challenge. The real challenge of AI is to create a system that doesn't just mimic a human's responses, but actually mimics a human's thought processes. One scientist uh, talked about this moment of what he called the singularity, where a powerful enough computer was invented that that computer itself could then create other computers, and this would iterate on to a situation where humanity was under threat and com computers could take over. When he first had the idea, he envisioned a sort of utopia where the computers would take over everything and human beings could just live a life of comfort and luxury. But later on, he revised his view and went, oh, well, that relies on the computers being benign creatures, which we couldn't guarantee. My personal view is that that world, whether it's a good world or a bad world, is still very, very far away in the future. I think it's incumbent upon all of us, not only those that create AI, but those within government who regulate the creators of AI to make sure that any system that's introduced that affects ordinary people's daily lives is absolutely fit for purpose and has been brought into use in a controlled and thoughtful way. Otherwise, we risk building all sorts of biases and problems into the system because the system is ultimately only as good as its creator.